Hi beauties, how's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me, welcome back. So today is going to be my January favorites. I figured I'd go ahead and squeeze that in here um, and show you what I've been enjoying for the month of uh, January. So I always like to start off with my hair care first and then I go to skincare then to makeup. So uh, if you're more into the makeup, um, it will be after the hair care and the skincare. So anyway, for my hair, I have really been enjoying this whole mm -hmm concept of um, products and it is the Pantene Expert Collection Age Defy. Um, it is these items here that was sent to me from Expo. It's a shampoo and a conditioner I got and then also I have the hair uh, thickening serum. Um, these are really wonderful hair products for somebody who does have um, <clears throat> is more mature and is dealing with the aging process. Um, it is really great for the hair to make it feel more healthy and youthful. I will put the link down below so that you can go ahead and check out the review. I'm not going to get in depth with it because I already did a review. So I'll put the link down below if you want to go and check that out. Um, the next products here, um, these were sent to me also. They're hair, hair products, but I have been using them for the last couple of weeks. Um, in conjunction with that, you know how I am, um, but I'll explain just a little bit about this. I'm not going to go in full detail because I'm going to do a review. Um, let me... What is, oh, Beautiful Nutrition is the name of the whole company. They're like on Amazon. I'll put the link down below of the company because they're you can purchase them on Amazon.com. But um, what it is, is this one is a Grapefruit Detox Shine Repair. Uh, you get a conditioner, or there's a conditioner and a shampoo that I had gotten. Okay, um, and then there is this uh, citrusile uh, lime fruit extract, uh, ultra light leave in rinse out frizz solution conditioner. You can leave it in, you can leave it in or rinse it out, so it's up to you really. Um, just real quick. These are detox, so that gets rid of the buildup. So I've been using this whole system once a week to get rid of the buildup um, and you know detox and get rid of the buildup and everything. And then I go ahead and use my Pantene net on the other days and that, uh, which is you know I shampoo maybe three, to f two to three times a week. So and then I do deep conditioner in between. So this I do once a week. So I will get more in depth with these. But um, it is, uh, I, I will put a link down below if you want to go ahead and check them out yourself. To Amazon, it is cruel, they are cruelty free and they are um, uh, like you have a natural product. They're, and they're really good. They smell of citrus. Oh, smell of citrus. That smells so good. So good. So I've been using those uh, for skincare. I had done a haul video and I had shown that I got um, the skin, a uh, couple of items here from skin and I've been using this three system here. Um, I mostly do it at night, sometimes during the day depending on how dry my skin feels, but mostly at night. And if this is the Hydro Surge Deep Moisture Lifting Treatment. Um, that's this one here. Uh, the Skin uh, Blue Nutri, Nutri Vital Intense Deep Penetrating Lipid Replenishing Serum. And then the little vial of this Restore C Plus um, item here. It comes in a little. And I put them all together, tap a little of the powder. That, this is a powder form. And mix it all together and put it in my face. And it has a lavender scent to it. Very therapeutic, really, just really has been doing a real nice uh, texture for my skin. And just, I can feel the lifting property or the effect of the lifting and everything. So that's been really good. Um, also from skin, really been loving this um, body butter. It's the Love and Lotus body butter. And I actually have it on my hands and I feel like it's been really giving my hands a more youthful look to it on top of it all and just very deep penetrating moisturizing uh, body butter. It's one of the best I have, probably one of the best I've ever used. It's a very thick 
um, very thick, very dense cream. And it smells wonderful. It's just, it's just a wonderful scent. So I've been really loving that. So I highly suggest checking out his body butters. <clears throat> There's my voice. And then finally, I had found one of these, the Nivea. Remember, I kept telling everybody I've been wondering about these because I hear so many people talking about them. It's the Nivea Lip Butter, and mine's in Caramel Cream Kiss. Oh my goodness, been loving it. I love the smell. It smells wonderful. Um, and, you know, it comes in a little tin, and it is very moisturizing. I've been using it um, during the daytime if I'm not wearing any makeup, like lipstick or anything. And then definitely at night, I've been putting this on and just love it. So those are my hair care and skincare, lip treatment kind of products and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and get into makeup, which I have two eyeliners here. I've been using a couple of gel eyeliners. Um, just wanted to play around with them and just plus um, my L'Oreal one that I really love to use, the liquid one. Um, the intense one <clears throat> is I don't want to use it all up too much right now because uh, I wanted to kind of go through a couple other ones so and try and save that one because that's like one of my favorites so I've been I went into the um, L'Oreal infallible uh, navy it's like a blue navy color um, which you could probably see the blue casting off there um, I like to use blues and purples more uh, a lot of times when it comes to a gel liner. And um, I have this one I've been using, and this one came in a kit a while back ago that I had gotten, and it's from Tarte, and it's blackened plum, and it's gorgeous. That is what I have on my eyes today, lined up on top here. It's the <clears throat> blackened plum. Which right there, you can see the purple. Which I do have some purple on my eyes today, as a matter of fact. I felt all purpley today, so this is actually what's, like I said, on the top lid line gel liner. Love them. So, and lipsticks. The one I'm wearing right now, which I've been really getting in into these Rimmel lipsticks here. Uh, this one's in 190 Rose Blush. These are the Moisture Renew Lipsticks. Rose Blush 190. That's what's on my lips today. It's a very beautiful, like, neutrally rose color. And they're very moisturizing. There it is there. You can see the moisture right on that. Perfect for right now because this weather just been brutal, 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 brutal on just skin, hair, everything. And then this is from the Hard Candy. What is the name of this one? This one's very small print, so isn't that lovely? I was trying to see what the name of it is. Plumping Serum. Oh, it's on, it's on top. Durr. Um. Idolized. Eight, eight, six, nine. Idolized. I love this color. I'm going to check into some more of them. But it's a beautiful uh, mauve purpley, purpley color. I don't know. More purple, I guess. Just a very pretty color. Again, it's also very moisturizing. So there it is right there. You can again see, but I've been loving these kind of lipsticks right now because as dry and as brutal as this weather's been, need it. Um, combination for my eyelashes, which I've talked a lot about. No surprise, Butterfly Intensa. Had to put that in there, but I've been using it in conjunction with the Lash Knockout Volumizing Mascara from the Flower Beauty Collection. I use these as a combination together, and it gives me these beautiful, um, almost falsy looking lashes, kind of. I don't know how well you can see them, but I really, really like the combo, so, um, and I did do a review on both of these, so I can put links to these down below if you're 
interested in seeing a review on those. Um, for my bronzer, highlight and, and blush, like this is like the combo I've been using a lot, and that's actually what I have on today. Um, it, this is the bronzer I had shown in my, uh, the one, just one kind of a pick video. And this is from the Bajor uh, Delicios. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's the bronzer from uh, Bajor. And it's the one I said that almost reminds me of the Chocolate Soleil from Too Faced. It has a chocolate smell to it, or a nice sm smell of. Uh, chocolate and it is a great bronzer it's not like orangey or anything it's more of the you know bronzed color it's not uh, orange color or anything like that so let's put that there it's right there it is and for blush I wouldn't mind getting some more of these but I love this color especially right now when fall and winter comes around I really love using this blush and this is from the city color and it's from the B matte collection and this one's in blackberry and it's my favorite to use especially like around now in the um, uh, fall and winter and it's a gorgeous color very gorgeous these are very pigmented if you have not tried them. Which there it is. That's blackberry. And then on top of it, kind of like up above here on, on my cheeks, I've been using um, Hard Candy um, Honeymoon 127 Honeymoon as like a highlight and then putting it on top. Love Honeymoon. It's probably one of my favorites besides is it Living Dolls, the other one that I really like. I might have to get the one that everybody's been talking about. I can't think of the color, but that's what I've been using as on top as a highlight. Which right there it is. That's the Honeymoon. Love it. And then my palettes I've been using, which I um, I'll show the one I have on right now is from my Kat Von D palette. It is the Spellbinding uh, eyeshadow book. I didn't get the new one because I mean I kind of wish I would have, but it didn't really fully appeal to me. The palette I really want to get is her newer one that she has out. But this one I loved because the colors in it, whenever it came out, um, not this past Christmas, but the Christmas before. And it just has like a versatile different colors in there, greens, uh, purples, cranberries, blues, uh, golds, um, silver, black, pink, just all kinds of, of colors. Um, what I have on is I put uh, Countess, which is of a matte shade. I had put that all over on my eyelid and up to the brow, and then I think this is WTF. Yeah, WTF is like a cranberry color. I put that up in the crease area, worked it up in the crease area. And then this color here, that purple. The only thing I hate is you have to look on this thing. Arcada, Arcadia or something like that. I don't know how you pronounce it, but anyway, this is a light purpley color. It's kind of duochrome a little bit. I have that on the uh, lids on my eye. And then I have this in the outer corner, um, which is Wonderland. I have that on the outer corner. And then I believe this one I worked into it, which is called Geek. <laughs> and it's just a nice transition color show you that one. So you have that kind of like as a transition color. Um, and I just, this is a great palette. I love it. I um, want to play with it a little bit more. But you know me with purple. So that's the eye look that I got with all that. 
and I really am liking it. And then the other one, which, good gracious, I'm trying to close that. The other one I have been using is my Tarte. This is a Tarte palette that I had gotten several Christmases ago, and as you know, their shadows are um, quite big. Let's try to make sure I didn't have it. They're quite big and um, gorgeous colors. This has a lot of um, beautiful purple colors in it also, and neutrals, and golds, and some greens. I really love this color down here called Gossip. It almost reminds me of the Pantone color of the year for last year. That was that pretty orchid. And, but yeah, I've been using this one and that one, and I might even work more on this one again here too. So I don't know if I'll be putting them away anytime soon because I was kind of having fun with them. So I believe that's it. That was my January favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I will put the links to some of the videos on some of the reviews uh, for some of the items that I have here down below. So go ahead and check them out. I will also put my Facebook and Twitter down below. And um, yeah, so thanks so much videos for watching. I really appreciate it. And thank you for all your support. Um, hopefully within the future here, I will be having a giveaway because I had reached um, my 500 goal and um, I hope I continue to reach each goal as I go so thank you so much to all my new subscribers and to my subscribers that's been with me for a very long time just thank you to all of you and um, so yeah if you like this video please give it a thumbs up also if you're not subscribed to me I would so love to have you so go ahead and click the subscribe button and as always beauties please remember to be yourself Love yourself and let the real beauty shine through. Until the next time, y'all take care and I will see you again. Bye-bye.